In 1430, during an unsuccessful attempt to carry it off by Hussites, the picture was broken and the face slashed twice with sabers. As a soldier pulled back his arm for a third strike, he fell to the ground dead. His comrades, seeing this, fled in horror, fearful of the wrath of God for assaulting his church and the portrait of Mary. There have been repeated attempts to repair the picture, but each time the scars are filled in and painted over, they return, and it appears that blood is oozing out of the wounds. For this reason, it is taken as Our Lady's will that the picture should remain this way as a reminder to all who would desecrate her shrine. During the Second World War, blood dripped from Mary's wounded cheek, and though Poland was overrun by the Nazis, the shrine at Częstochowa was never subjected to the Nazis' evil. And throughout the communist domination, Our Lady's Shrine remained a rallying point for the people of Poland. This copy of the miraculous image of Our Lady of Częstochowa was painted by noted Polish artist Edward Ronsky in 1959. It was commissioned by the primate of Poland, Stefan Cardinal Wyszynski, to replace the picture which had been destroyed in the Cedar Chapel. It was placed on the altar at Jasna Gora with the original for a novena of masses, touched to the original, blessed by Cardinal Wyszynski, and shipped to Brother Bronislaus. It arrived only weeks prior to his death. The icon is over 300 years old and was brought to St. Louis by Polish settlers 150 years ago. It previously hung above the high altar of Our Lady at Częstochowa Church. When the church was torn down to make way for Interstate 55, Cardinal John Carberry, the Archbishop of St. Louis, donated it to the shrine. All the pictures and statues in the chapel have been donated over the years by our wonderful friends and benefactors. Come along as we retrace the footsteps of Brother Bronislaus to recall his love for Mary and look upon his vision and his sermon is stolen.